embargo against the U.S. is lifted. Patty Hearst is kidnapped by the Symbionese Liberation Army. And President Nixon is forced to resign as a result of the Watergate break-in and cover-up. The year is 1974. And our Indians are trying to get fans in the seats at Municipal Stadium. Ballpark promotions are the rage. And one of the most infamous 10-cent beer dikes took place on June 4th, 1974. I thought, my God, look at all the people at the game. You know, we didn't have many people in here. We had maybe three times as much as we uh, normally have. And I thought it was wonderful. Fans are enjoying a rally that sees the Tribe tie the game at five with two runs in the ninth. Then with two outs and the bases loaded, some of the 25,000 faithful try to help the home team a little too much. A couple of guys ran out. Uh, the right fielder then was uh, Jeff Burroughs. And, and a couple of fans ran out in the field and, and one of them grabbed his cap. The girl chased him and let the fans team on the field. Oh, it was terrible. And, uh, you know, and then the, the Rangers players were out there, and Billy Martin was right in the front of them, you know. And the Indians charged out on the field. They, they weren't fighting each other as much as they were fighting the fans to keep the protective from One of the Rangers players caught in the middle of the whole mess is number 21, first baseman Mike Hargrove. Umpire Nestor Shylak tries to restore order and continue the game, but his efforts are in vain. Nestor Shylak, uh, you know, forfeited the game, and later, after this, then we went down to interview him. And just, it was like a jungle out there, man. It was like a jungle out there. Somebody might have gotten killed, and he was right. It was terrible. Who would think that a small riot would uh, occur? But. Uh, it did, and uh, the, long, we were, the game was forfeited, and I took a great deal of blasting about it, including, as I said, it was called in New York the next day, explain why I did it. I think we knew why he did it. <laughs> Sell some tickets. He, he still was happy about yeah. it as that, that was recorded. It's pretty interesting stuff there. I always thought, Dan, if you, if you follow what they were saying, the Indians were down 5-1, to one, they scored 4 to tie it. Had the bases loaded, it's five to five, and then Billy Martin sort of instigated it because he knew the the crowd was riled up, and he thought maybe he could get a forfeit out of it, which he did. Uh, no, no dummy, yeah, Billy a, Martin. It, it's a good strategy, and you know, I remember uh, I, f I forget what year it was, but when the Indians got snowed out, Mike Hargrove coming yeah. out and talking to umpires and kind yeah. of delaying, delaying, delaying to try and get that game. Yeah. Yeah. How, how can you play in this kind of weather? <laughs> and he's doing it in front of the, the <laughs> Cleveland fans. Anyway, that's great stuff. That's the only, as to our knowledge, that's the only uh, video available on that. That game was not televised either in Texas or, or in Cleveland. 216-901-0945.